so all euro 3 board comes without immobilizer but actually all euro 4 boards comes with immobilizer but they printed like euro 3 please don't get confused first of all so this all boards comes with epro here so this ic will go into store all the key data so this key so by using this key you can start the engine but the problem what is going on means it's not communicating for the car chuck light is not coming so how to confirm that chuck light is not coming means just by scanner also you can confirm or from dashboard also you can confirm in dashboard check in light should come if the check in light comes means communication between eco and meter is excellent if there is no communication means check light won't come i am not connected for the meter but no issues we can confirm by the scanner if it is communicating successfully means it should communicate for our hardware so before that i will going to show you that how it will communicate for us actually with one working board so this one is a customer defect board actually i will going to compare with these two it's very simple i already made all the connections for the hardware that one is a new one this one is a customer defect board any basic scanner is also more enough to just check communication only to confirm communication we can go with obd on the day one only i clearly told na we are having different kinds of obd protocols could you please tell me one or two protocols iso protocols like vpwo pwm 9141 kpwo 2000 we are having plenty of protocols in one of the protocol this will going to belonging among one of that actually how to confirm is very simple click on that obd protocol protocol is going to verifying all individual protocol if it successfully communicating means you will get a read fault code clear fault code dashboard yes if you get this simple window means it's clear and clear confirmation this board is communicating with me shall we compare the same thing with the customer board i should turn off the ignition main relay take out the connector so i just need to connect for the end to end connectors done this is a customer defect hardware but both part numbers are same so it's in stock this is from the customer end now turn on main supply ignition okay so the same repeated process go with obd protocol now it's trying to connect with all protocols one by one what it's telling what it's telling for this complaint how we will going to give a solution for the customer one is you can replace with a communication ic like that we will try for the another hardware on after some days no problem at all but we are having a stock right now now what will be the main problem if i give that hardware for the customer means vehicle won't start why vehicle won't start only the problem is what key so how to confirm that if suddenly customer gave this hardware for me means i to also don't know where i need to do navigation simply i just navigate with obd2 protocol so whatever you will get a hardware don't go with a model don't go with a brand don't go with a petrol or diesel segment just scan it in bench method to confirm communication whether it's communicating or not if you are going to replace with new ac means how to solve this key problem correct or not why because this board all comes with epro that epro will going to store the win data and key data so but in this vehicle win is not important only key data is very most important so here we are having two methods one is you can use a atul im 508 or 608 by that you can take out the epro and connect for the epro for xp 400 pro the device and based on that selection of epro i see in the software just add a key 1 2 3 that also you can do everything that work you can do on bench method i am using i am 608 in this device what you will get a dashboard it's for immobilizer programmer key wire dump diagnosis on the day you did every practice on which one key wire dump so please select on key wire dump click on accept now in this one i not even connected programmer but let's we need to finish the preparation work first click okay okay we need to select on which one continental asia. it's asia. asia next what's our brand suzuki okay we need to just select with suzuki 
particular which vehicle? Swift. It is a model called Swift vehicle. So, in this Swift vehicle, what will be the EEPROM number? T56. You need to select on that one. Now, this is the dashboard. So, for this vehicle, you can't do via OBD. So, we need to work on bench method. Okay. So, to solve this problem, what will be the procedure? First, we need to take out the EEPROM from the hardware. Then next, we need to connect that EEPROM for the XP400 Pro. Then next, we need to add key one by one. Shall we see that work one by one? Okay, come. So, look at the hardware. It is just same, right? Okay, so where that complete immobilized data stores in this hardware? Only in EEPROM. Shall we remove this one? Yes. So first you should take out the EEPROM. Then just have a look. So always all EEPROMs comes with notch. I see U, U1, U10. Can you put it on any? No. no Actually no. you need to set it for the SP8. SP8 sort slot. Procedures are same. Now, take out the hardware and just we need to fix it for the device. Now, USB is connected, supply 12 volts is connected, that USB cable is connected for the my VCR device also. Okay. So, if you click on that one touch process, okay, now it starts to read the chip data. We are already having how many keys? Four keys. Uh, but the customer given only one key for okay. me. So before that, at least we should confirm whether this key is working or not. How to confirm this key is working or not? Just take the VVDI tool, just turn it on. At least you should put a key like this and just press the power button. It's working, right? So the key is working good and fine, right? Is there any issue with the key? No, right? Yes. So what we can do now? We just need to put a key here. That's all. Just place a key like this, click on first one, okay, and just click on make a key. Do you want to save this newly generated file? I don't want, click on no, function completed successfully, click ok. Now the first key is saved successfully. Now this key is saved for the hardware. By using this method, you can give a solution for the customer for replacing with a new ECM. Okay, we are having plenty method. Previously, I told you now. So, lot of guys going to do mistakes like this. Actually, this is not a mistake. They are trying to attempt the vehicle to give a solution. Okay, they remove the dashboard. The basic thing is what? First, you should verify communication yes, is established with us and with ECM or not. Okay, if communication is established with us means then why we need to remove all the dashboard first of all? They remove the entire dashboard. What will be the use of it? No use, right? So for every vehicle, please follow my job card. What I given the job card in the last sheet, it's very most important. Okay. So by this method, I give a solution for the customer. If anyone is having questions, means you can ask questions also. Oh, with every scanning type of scanning tool that you are using, to, for any if there is a failure communication between the the board yeah. and the and the tool scanning tool yes actually what he told it's a really very good uh, question actually on the day one only I told na the list of protocol previously also I told the same answer could you please repeat that protocols VPW PWM nine one four one KPW two thousand and J2534 with can low can high protocols. They are the listed of protocols actually, mm -hmm. what I told in the day one class. In every scanner, what you will purchase with any brand, no issues at all. You will get a options like Europe, Asia, China and OBD. So this OBD means nothing but it doesn't know which brand you are selecting, which company you are selecting, particularly which model you are selecting, whether petrol engine or diesel engine, it doesn't know anything. So you are just going with a protocol. So what all the protocols comes in the car, that was, that all protocols are covered in OBD2. 
ಹಂಗೆ ಕ್ರೀಪ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕಾಗಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ವೈ ಆ ಓ ಬಿ ಡಿ ದಿಸ್ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ ಓನ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಫೈವ್ ನಾಟ್ ಏಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಏಟ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ವಿ ಆರ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಬೆಂಚ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ವೈ ವಿ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಇಮೊಬಿಲೈಸರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೀಚರ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ರೀಸನ್ ವಿ ವೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಿ ವೈ ಅಡಮ್ ಬೈ ದಿಸ್ ವೈ ವಿ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ದ ಇಶ್ಯೂ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಅನದರ್ ಕೀ ಓಕೆ this is one method what i am telling i can give with a second method also if you not having 508 if you not having a 608 if you not having this xp 400 pro take out the customer old board take out the customer old board that previous key all data going to store in which i see swap that one only we can give one more solution also instead of doing all this process what is the final solution you just swap from here to that board shall we try that one so this one is a working hardware what i removed from the e prom done instead of doing all this stuff i gave a solution with a swapping method what i swapped e prom that's all you can choose which one is best for you based on that you can work if the customer eSIM is also not working and there is no response from the hardware and it's totally damaged and there was no eprom or else someone stole on this eSIM how we will give a solution means by this method clear i just swapped eprom from the existing customer board if you not even having a customer board means please follow this method you swap that and the key now Yeah. obviously that is existing key it will work obviously okay. because this i from i took from the customer hardware i understand that i'm asking yeah we did program the key yes to that e prom yes so that key is not going to correspond with that because we write the data of that e yes. prom to that key yes true so is it going to start with that e prom that you put there yes this was the old e prom e prom i'm oh, swapping sorry. that one only for the new hardware yeah. I didn't change any data of this EPRO. But the key has changed. Yes. But the key data is what it is, comes with. It's the same data only. It should not change. It never changes. Never changes. Okay. If their customer is having those keys also means I did only key proming for one key. If they use a second key, it won't start. That's Third key I, means it that's, won't start. That's where my question is. Fourth, question, fourth key is also it won't start. Only with the first key it will start. I don't okay. want to give that kind of solution. I yeah. want to give a permanent solution for the customer. Okay. For that reason only I swap the customer EEPROM for the new hardware. Yeah. Yeah. Shall we check communication? Yeah. Yes. The key key data. Yeah. Can be on different on different uh, yes. ECM. Yes. I think BC Yes. Um, in four cars. Uh, yeah. In four like cars it stores in meter cluster. Yeah. Odometer. Yeah. 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 Okay. In Hyundai it will going to store in Smartra and ECM. in a few of the maruti suzuki vehicles it going to store the key data in ecm and bcm in yeah. mg hector yesterday we worked on mg hector bcm uh-huh. it going to store in bcm okay like that few of the vehicles it going to store in different different locations yeah but no need to worry our diagnostic tool will going to guide you with step by step information okay first we should make a good friendship with our diagnostic tools okay because what i wanted to ask how did he know is on exactly this specific exactly your question one. is correct look at here for your question only i will going to show you with that answer mm. key wired up for this vehicle which i see you need to take out uh, oh, b2 uh, 93c 56 right uh, e prom i see okay. uh, where i got that information here only go for suzuki and here you will get a model is called swift it's only guiding me which e prom i see you need to take out this is only guiding me that's what i need to search in that hardware mm-hmm. that only i will take out from the hardware and i will fix here mm-hmm. so it never misguide you it will clearly suggesting you to take out the particular ic only you need to search that particular ic and take out from the hardware then you need to start your work everything we need to learn by practice only here okay okay but it's clearly suggesting you okay based on that information only we can work Yes. You see the data on that uh, on that uh, EEPROM. Yes. For this board. Yeah. Is it the same one on the other boards as well? On the car? 
Yeah, all the cars having same EEPROM number, no, no, but no, data changes. No, I mean for this specific car. Yes, specific. For this car. Yes. This car. It have got say is a, is a IMO, PCM, Airbag. Completely same. Co same. It's a security change. Same. 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 Yeah. Only the security so, numbers are changes. Only the numbers. Yes. If the solution you can give easily means go with key programming. No need to replace. OBD2. Whether it's communicating or not, just that's what I am verifying now. Okay? Communication. Yes. yes. It's communicating. Now the problem is solved. So we know what is causing communication. Yes. Again. You should find that hardware problem. Now. problem. We don't know yet. Yes. Okay. That's what we will going to learn here. Okay. Okay. If you know that secret means all boards are very simple. Mm -hmm. We are having multiple methods. So swapping method is a beautiful method for me to give a quick solution.